Yo, what's going on, 67 underscore? Today we're here doing a try hard Thursday. It's your boy. Well, I was gonna say it's your boy Kernanos, but technically I'm Sam Dude. Sam Dude Tuber. But that's okay because we are playing Kernanos, actually, for real. Not joking. Um what do I start? I really wanna just start like this. And go speed buff. I know I have no mana, but do I need mana is the question. I don't think I need mana. This seems extremely zoomed into me, but maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I don't need mana. Well, I don't know. I am going to use half of my mana clearing this buff. But I do have Hunter's Blessing, which gives mana. Or not, it doesn't give mana, it gives MP5, but you know what I meant. Um, so, I think... I think this is fine. I think it's fine. I'm not sure, I don't know exactly. The best play, the best decision. Double buffing might have been better, by the way. Alright. The reason you dash in here is because you clear so much faster. I'm going to pop a multipod because I'm only missing 140 HP. And multipods give you... 75. You think? I hope I don't look stupid. Am I stupid? Uh, they give you 125. I'm an idiot! I'm holding my point here so that I can get my alt and uh, upgrade my two here. Well, I should have definitely just gone for the wave on that. And I didn't, and that's on me. This gets level five. I'm extremely big strong. All right, not if I miss everything. Not strong if you miss everything, who knew? Just auto these waves. Uh, he's got no pots though. So over the next minute or so, I will actually be stronger than him. Nice, we hit him in the wave. Ouch. <clears throat> Alright. I think it's time. Look at all that damage, and he has no healing. I mean, he has healing with his passive, but, you know, no actual healing. By the way, I'm not getting my one, because I don't feel like it's necessary. Perfect combo. He dashed in, he wanted to give me the hands, and instead, he received said hands with the quote, stop hitting yourself on them. Easy. Easy first blood. Grab these Devourer's Gauntlets. And the reason I'm not getting my one is because it's not it's not strong enough. Like the, the what you get for rank one of your one is not worth missing the damage output of leveling the two or the three. It's just not. So Alright. I'm not letting you get this. This is mine, and it will forever be mine, and the faster that you accept that, the better your life will be. Thank you. I would like to go pick up my red buff now. <laughs> Thank you so much. He's out of mana already? Did I see that right? No, I definitely did not see that right. He has, he has just enough mana to beat my ass. That was meant for the minion wave, by the way. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he missed backline. Nice. It's good for me because I didn't miss backline. Oh, I mean, I missed backline, but, like, it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay, his dash is down. Red buff should be mine. And by red buff, obviously, I mean blue buff should be mine. Because my two does more damage than his one. Perfect. He did do some numbies to me, but I don't think he ever wins this fight because I have alt. He also has alt, but like... 
I think my ult is just better. Unless I miss it, of course. I, I don't know if I mentioned that, but... Yeah, if you miss your ult, it's definitely not as good. That's true, that's true. He doesn't have mana to use his 3, so I'm not scared of him detonating. Um, I have Devos, so I'm kind of chilling, I think. I don't get that much HP back for Otto, but like at least I get some back, and he's going trans, so he gets none back, which means I am chillaxing. I'm going to level the alt here, because I think it does a lot of damage when you level it to 2. I think it's a big increase. Um, obviously he wants to put it in my asshole right now, and that's kind of not cool, so I'm going to back out. What's this? Oh, it's only 50 damage increase. It's only 50 damage increase per level. That's not worth it, actually. I definitely should not have done that. You guys like my cookies? They're sick. They're so good. My tower! Oh, what in the heck? He finishes Transcendence, but he's nowhere even close to finishing Boots. And by nowhere even close, I mean he's really close to finishing Boots. Um, the thing is... He doesn't get red buff here, though. Because... He's way too scary. I stop his back as much as possible here, because I have Boots advantage. If he backs, he'll get Boots as well. So, obviously he would like that. Good kill. That's why I tried to stop his back so hard because um, if he ba if he actually backs there, then he'll just get boots and be able to win the fight probably. Because I don't have trans stacked or devo stacked, and he well I guess he doesn't have them either. But like trans gives you a lot more power initially than devos, so he'd be in a better spot than me if he backed and got those boots online. But I stopped his back like the absolute hooligan I am in order to catch the double U movement. That did a lot of damage to him. He actually only got tier 2 boots. I still don't have my 1. Yeah, he can't do anything to me if, I, uh, if I'm close to him like that and I get those, those cleave autos on him. There ain't nothing he can do. I'm about to hit him with this. Big damage, man. Is this up? It is not. Um, I'm lucky enough to where I don't really think that... I, I really just don't think he can kill me right now. He finished boots, but I have 63 stacks on Devos, so... Hmm. I don't even need the back here. I just life seal up. I'm just gonna keep life stealing. I think the only thing, the only thing I should be scared of right now, is an all in. And if he does that, I have my alt. And the only situation that happens if I alt is he alts, because he has no beads yet. He's not level 12. He can't even get CC immunity. So he needs to alt in order to be CC immune, and that is good for me, I think. And also finish devil gloves. Perfect. My life steal is out of this world. Next item, probably just a breastplate, because I would like to be able to use my two a little bit more often. Um, he's going to push the wave, obviously. That's why my wave just disappeared. <laughs> um, he could have pushed tower. If I actually backed, he pushed tower here, so... <clears throat> That's why I stayed. Actually, I think Ichabal instead of breastplate might be good, because I can get tier 1 breastplate and finished Ichabal. Which will be really, really nice. And obviously I'll get the uh, the thorns as well. And I'll start leveling the one here. The one doesn't really matter that much. I don't think. I'll keep it on lifesteal stance. Because he has no lifesteal right now. So it's definitely more beneficial. Or he has no anti-heal I mean. So keeping it on the extra lifesteal is more beneficial. 
Uh, he doesn't win this fight literally at all, by the way. Like, I could use no abilities at all and still completely smack. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just no world where he wins these fights. So he's going to have to back. I'm going to do this. And once he gets anti-heal in his build, that is when I will start to... Hold on. Nice. I wanted the buff and I want to keep... Pre I want to... Basically, my whole goal right now is to pressure him to the point where he doesn't want to play the game. Because, like, I'm so far ahead, it's not even... It's not even fair. You know, like... Perfect. Yeah, I'm so far ahead, it's not even fair. So I just keep my lifesteal stance on. And auto attack. And there should be nothing he can do. I mean, the Itch of All was such a fucking huge play. It's It demolishes any kind of Hunter v Hunter. If you're ahead, you just go Itch of All instead of defense. I can have six. You can if you want. I mean, it is a video, but it's also a Try Hard Thursday, so you're not the only game in it. Probably. Um... Very nice, and that's the F6 coming out. Actually, he's not F6ing. I was expecting an F6. Because he asked if he could have six, but I guess not. Alright. We'll go to extra damage on the Titan here. It's only an extra 14, but it adds up over 10 hits, you know? G G gamer boy, G G man, and I will see you guys in the next match. Yo, what's up, boys? We're back. Round two versus Smokey the Bear. Let's get it. Technically, round three if you count the first time we played against each other. Um. Mm, Dude, what if I just trolled and got teleport? Like, what if I did, though? No, it's Try Hard Thursday. It's Try Hard Thursday. It's Try Hard Thursday. Okay. I'm not going to get teleport because it's Try Hard Thursday. That's why we're not getting teleport. Duh. Duh. Alright, so I super out clear him. So I expected him to do double buff, but he only did one. But I, like I said, I super out clear him. So. Trying to punch me in the auto attacks. Oh, I didn't know there was an archer there. I probably got smacked up by that thing. I took 200 damage from that one archer. Oh my gosh. Talk about fucking slobbered. Group them up, blow them up. Group them up, blow them up. Group them up, blow them up. Alright. Why am I dead? Why am I dead? The auto attacks. 
for 64 million. It really hurts me. All these auto attacks. That's alright. First blood. Easy. I'll take it. I'll take it. He did not get beads. Which is his mistake. He should have gone beads. <coughs> he went Aegis. Which isn't terrible. It's a de it's a definite alternative for beads. But beads is, is... I mean, you need beads. Unless you got CC immunity, you need beads. He does have CC immunity in his ult, but um, he didn't he didn't hit level five fast enough, unfortunately. Can I just secure this by auto attacking this and then like two oneing or two threeing at four hundred HP? Well, it needed to be a little bit lower than four hundred, but I can't do it. Sounds Gouda to me. <laughs> Cheese. What's up, gamer? Boom! Big explosion, big explosion. Let's go back. Get that Bancroft. Don't do it. All right, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He did it once, but that's okay. You know, especially after last game when I did that, I stopped back like four times or something. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely okay. Oh my god, I just one shot that buff. I wasn't expecting that. Am I that far ahead? Normally, on your first back, you don't one shot that buff. Damn it, I really wanted that. Oh, I just dropped a ward instead of popping thorns. You dumbass. Eh, whatever. Oh. I think I can kill here. Mm. You predicted it. Not a bad prediction, buddy. Alright, this goes for the clear. Um, obviously his speed buff is gone. I'm just gonna hit it here. Ow, never mind. Cancel that. Big hurts. I'm gonna proxy the wave though, because he's way up there. He can't kill me. Alright, let's back before he gets to me. And Biggs brings me to Murder City. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, man? What do we got? Nothing. We got nothing. He's going into anti-heal. Not a bad decision. However, movement speed versus a Hades is importante. Extremely importante. Because I just do this. Boom, boom. And you can't get away from me fast enough. Or you can if you have Aegis, I guess. But that's only if you have Aegis. If you don't have your relics up, you're dead. And he's dead anyways. Greed. Ah, uh, he's not dead. Ah, he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, Thorns. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know why, but I thought... I didn't think Thorns would kill him, but I used it anyways. I was like, you know what? If it kills, it's gotta be sick. If it kills, it's gonna be gnarly. If it doesn't kill, it's expected. But if it does kill... That's what you're looking for. You're looking for the plays that you don't expect to happen, but then they do happen, and that means you can do them more often in the future because you know it's gonna happen. Hit him with it. Mm. 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 Get out of here. Hades autos. I do more damage to him than he does to me. Why? Uh, probably because he went Toxic Blade second item instead of Boots. I don't think he can steal this. I am Hades, so just, you know, do that and then walk away. Next item could be Defense, but I think I'm going to go Divine. Get Anti-Heal of my, of my own. Rude, to be honest with you. He has Alt, so he's probably just 
Gonna rely on his CC immunity from ult here. Or he's just gonna tank it. Unexpected, but equally as good, I guess. I auto for a whole bunch of Damahe. Um, I can definitely kill here, by the way. Well, I guess maybe he has a heal and I don't have enough mana to kill, so maybe I'm mistaken. But I'm gonna try anyways. Because the worst thing that happens is I die. Which, you know, in real life, that'd be rough. But in a game, you just respawn. Fuck it. I do want to go Divine, though. Or do I want to go something more meme-tastic and go regrow? No, I don't. Because it's Tryhard Thursday. Why? Okay, Sam. It's Tryhard Thursday. Why don't you freaking try? Just try. It's not hard. You re you almost locked in. Your first relic is teleport this game, and now you're talking about going shield of regrowth. Just play just play the game. Stupid. Why have memes taken over my? It's impossible for me to try hard now. Memes have taken over my over my life. I'm like ha ah, regrowth yeah, uh, regrowth. <laughs> play the game. Can I have this buff? Oh, and I would have ulted there, but he used his three at a good time. I am gonna blink ult him though. Ah, no, I'm not. He is, he is ult, so I'm not gonna blink ult. Him. I will try to pressure him into using ult, but I'm gonna maintain my blink. Here. Okay, okay. Well, he has ult, but he didn't use it, so I guess I should have just blink ulted before. But it doesn't really matter. As long as I get the kill and I still have my blink, we're good. Next time my ult is up, I blink ult. Then he ults. And I do have more cooldown than him, so I should theoretically get away from my minions! Leave me! Leave them be! Stop. Oh, I really thought I ate that too. I wasn't expecting the damage from my 3, to be honest. Thorn's kill, which is the second time that's happened this game, third time this video. Um, but oh my god. My 3 did so much damage. It did 700 damage with all the extra detonations. I meant to get beads, was looking for... was looking away for first relic. Are you saying you were looking away from your computer while buying first relic and then walking out of base all while looking away? I don't believe you. Well, you got beads. And cool. I'm standing in minion wave. Of course you can't back. Of course you can't back standing in a minion wave. Play next item. Think try hard. I want cooldown so that I can abuse the fact that his ult is on a longer cooldown than mine. That's try hard thinking. Typhons is also try hard thinking. He has anti heal though, so I don't want to go Typhons. So I go Kronos. Try hard. Easy. I'm so good at this game, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I will explode you. Walk a little closer. Boom! I told you I would do it. I warned you. And... Kronos! Pandit! Easy game. That kill is brought to you by Kronos Pendant, the official sponsor of today's video. Dude, I think this item is way too strong. 20% cooldown shouldn't give you 100 power. But also don't nerf it because I love it. So, <laughs> In fact, actually, 20% cooldown should give you at least 160 power. 
So I don't know why it doesn't. Go ahead and use your ult or your beads or your Aegis or something. Darn it. Would have been the fourth. Would have been the fourth kill of this video with thorns. Oh, he ulted the wave. Ow! And he ulted me. Um, we just exploded here, I think. Ah. I can't just auto-trade him, though, and win the fight. Assuming I hit my autos. Wait! I have Blink! Oh, he's just running back to base. We get Phoenix here. No reason to be overly aggressive for no reason. We can just take Phoenix. <clears throat> Hi, Appa. Hey, baby. <laughs> I really want to blink ult. How long is the cooldown on his three? Is it really long? Oh, he just beats it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, so good, dude. I'm so good. Oh my god, I'm so good. <sighs> I'm so good at this game. Oh, and he surrendered. I'm so good at this game. What would my next item be? Probably just a poly, to be honest. He is going defense. I could have gone some sort of pen. Mirrodin, Mirrodin isn't bad on Hades, actually. Mirrodin is pretty nuts. Maybe I would go Mirrodin. Anyways, doesn't matter. I'll see you in the next game. Yo, what's up? Sexy Sam Last Squad game... Four, three, the video. I don't know. I don't honestly remember, but I like this matchup a lot as Kamazots. Poseidon versus Kama. I feel like Kamazots just destroys it. But <clears throat> watch me say that and then get completely dumpstered. It's happened before. I have lost the matchup before, but I do like the matchup straight up. I think I want to start straight up transcendence rather than going. A starter item and then I want to go I want to do speed buff and then go to blue buff and use the not it's not a bug but use the mechanic where you last hit with the well it is a bug I think but use the mechanic where you last hit as or with the two to get an extra stack I think that's what I want to do so that I can start this game off with triple stacks. Oh god, I almost picked that up. That would have been tragic. That would have been tragic. So now, I just wait to last hit with my two. Why did his auto attack do 150 damage? Bro, what? Yeah, you never out-trade the early game Kamazots, this is not how it works. Perfect. You never out-trade the early game Kamazots. Unfortunately, he did actually steal my blue though, which really sets me back. Which is good on him, but also really annoying for me. <clears throat> but I started tier 2 Transcendence and I can't... I can't go tier 2 Boots now and just transition into Boots, because... That's a really lame-ass power spike compared to what the power spike could be if you just wait for Transcendence, so... I gotta wait. <clears throat> Which basically means that kill net me nothing, by the way. That kill was just dominance asserted. There was no actual... gain. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is being, like, all weird and shit. I 
I can absolutely kill him though. Alright, he's gonna get red buff, but I'm probably gonna kill him for it. Literally no mana. Alright, uh, good juke, so damn it. But he will lose a whole wave to tower, which is actually really, really bad for him. I'm gonna back in my transcendence online. You can count on me. A couple of mana pots, finally. <laughs> yeah, he lost that entire wave to tower, which is really good. So even though he's gotten a lot more buffs than me, I think we're actually still in a pretty good spot. Yeah, that definitely did not hit me. I don't understand how that killed me either, considering the fact that I was on the complete outer edge huh your middle tower is under attack well this is absolutely tragic <clears throat> this is absolutely tragic For the sun's rise, it's even did his blue too. Why do I do no damage to it? I have full ass transcendence, maxing my two. That shit did bungus damage. Why am I doing bungus amounts of damage to it? I shouldn't be doing bungus, you know. Be doing a lot. All right. Well, that is a kill, but I don't think I get anything off of it again, which really sucks, man. This is if this is gonna be the trend of the game. I'd rather have a different trend. I need anti-heal. Stat. I still have Aegis for when he inevitably tries to crack in me. Very nice. Alright, so his aggression is his downfall, it seems. When I'm aggressive, I lose the fight, but when he's aggressive, he loses the fight. So, basically, whoever aggresses dies. So, I'm basically AFK, I guess. I just wait until he pushes me, and then I do more damage to him. And until he actually pushes me, I just sit here and do this. Just throw shit at him. Try to try to just poke him. Poke him in clear, you know? I suck. He does a lot of damage. I also have a ton of gold in hand, though. He definitely doesn't live here. Oh, he does if I miss that, I guess. He is cracking up. Get a ward right here. Lucky for me, I had my finger on the trigger. I 
also have three K gold. Um, Humanity has a new beast to fear. Actually, not gonna finish boots here. Could rather do this. I think Blink is also crazy strong right now in this matchup. <clears throat> Doing red. Probably. I don't know for certain. Who's not doing red, but that's okay, I want blue buff anyways. Shit, he actually just ran, dude. There's no mana. Well that's really good for me. Even though my blink was like kinda wasted, it put enough pressure on him to where it felt like he had to misplay in order to to do anything. Can I miss that? I miss that too? Bad gameplay. Bad gameplay. I'm rusty when it comes to Kamazots though, so it's understandable. There's a wave. Probably goes for this. Not even up. I have beat sick on him, so like I don't think he wins these fights, right? Oh, I suck. Oh, I'm amazing. Oh, is he dead? He's not dead. Good at running, which is a main thing that you need to be good at with Poseidon, and I mean that unironically, by the way. <clears throat> you can count on me. I'm gonna go pestilence. Pestilence is good. I also don't think I care about tower too much. Unless maybe I I do care about color. Kraken for peel, not bad. Kraken for peel. I'm really just trying to pressure him so I can keep my level up because the thing about duel is that yeah gold matters to a certain extent but XP is what really matters to be honest
I'm gonna try this. I don't know how this is gonna play out. Because he should know I'm doing it because my abilities are really loud. He didn't know I was doing it. Probably wants to return tower kill here. Yeah, he's just rushing tower. That is the smart play. Kraken. Hmm. Should be a kill here, I think. I can't fucking catch him, dude. Whatever. I'm just gonna go take tower. I don't even care. I can't catch him at all. not happy with my gameplay right now. In fact, I would like to do that real quick. dead yet hmm that was a really big two with that two I can actually defend things it's really good because I missed that two he probably takes Phoenix or at least does a lot of damage to it um <clears throat> I'm go frostbound it might help me. Also, I'm actually going to pick this up. I'm having a lot of trouble trying to maintain aggression on him. I think this might be the answer. doing a lot of damage to him here. I missed everything, dude. I choked so hard. However, his Kraken is down, so I'm going to try Bull Demon. But I choked so hard. That blink was so good, too. Frostbound does a lot, dude. That Frostbound does a whole lot. Holy. Frostbound carried that fight. I might even go Itchaval, because he's focusing a lot of his build on attack speed. And I just want to yoink away that attack speed, man.
I've been missing too many abilities this game to call it a good game on my end. I've missed almost everything consistently for a decade. And the only redeeming factor is the fact that I have Frost on and he can't run for me. Yeah. The only good thing is that Frostbound is carrying the shit out of me right now. But I guess <clears throat> the fact that I know I needed Frostbound as a Kamazots means I know a little bit of the game. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll see you in the next game. I'm not very proud of that one though, to be honest. It's the last game of the day. I'm gonna set this man straight to hell. I get it because I'm sad and he's hell. Get it? Get it? <clears throat> Let's just play this. The forgotten kingdoms buried beneath the Do I first item beat stick? Them. It's not terrible against hell. It's not great, though. Honestly, Horrific is going to be really strong against Hell. Early game. And I think I, I, I go tanky. I go Runic early. Yeah. I actually, I like this build a lot. It's tanky, but still in your face. You know what I mean? So, it should do well. Also gonna double buff because Hell Out clears the Badookies off of uh, tank set, so. And I like my Badookies. I don't want them taken, you know what I mean? His buff clear is really slow, but his wave clear is really good, so. It evens out, I, I suppose. Alright, not bad. Oh, he went full tank too. I want to be two tank boys just hitting each other. His clear is actually bad. Full tank full tank hell early game clear is actually bad. So, I think we can kind of get in there, believe it or not. And my goal is to hurt him. Mentally and physically. Your mom's ugly. Yeah, I hear him crying. Wow, why are you almost dead? What the fuck? Wait, what happened? Did minions just kill you? <laughs> why are you almost dead? I'm confused. But also not that confused, because if he did try to tank the minions, it definitely would have probably almost killed him. Can I just dive? What, okay, what, uh, oh fuck it. It works. I didn't know if I was able to, but uh, but you know, a lot of a lot of life is experimenting. So that's my experiment for today. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. I have blue buff, so I'm gonna push another wave because I am greedy. And I'm also gonna get runic shield instead of boots because I am annoying. Alright. I thought I was annoying. He's chasing me. Get away from me, you freak. You know what? Just because of that, I'm gonna go power boots. Tools to focus my rage. Just because you chased me. You just set a beast loose that you should not have. Unfortunately, death is calling your name. You better run. Better. You better run.
My next item is still going to be Runic Shield, by the way. It's just too good to not buy. But, but the Power Boots allows me to pressure a little bit stronger early on. Which is why I decided to go for this when he stopped my back. Because, like I said, he, he pissed me off. So... <laughs> Hope you're cool with it. Hell's blue buff is down. I am backing. Red buff is down also, so we're chilling. Then I run straight to my blue buff to make sure he doesn't steal that from me. If he's there, I alt and horrific. He's not. I wait to see if I have an opportunity to alt and horrific, and uh, I definitely do, so... He's not, um, he's not cleansing horrific with his two in light stance. So, if he doesn't do that all game, or if he keeps doing what he's doing all game, this game is going to last approximately 40 more seconds. He needs, he needs to learn that he can, he can cleanse it. Got Tyrannical, but that's not a good item against Set because Set clears even with your Tyrannical. Where did he go? Hello. So much damage. So much damage. I think I'm gonna go get his speed buff. He has no mana, so I really I'm expecting a surrender, to be honest. I, I really am expecting a surrender. This matchup is so rough for hell. Um Well it's okay, it's actually not that bad for hell, but it's really bad in the sense that if you lose early game, you lose the game. Like, straight up, you just lose the game if you lose early. Because you need to be able to maintain a certain level of composure when you're um, defending as hell. Because late game, obviously, your late game is good, but the late game isn't good if your whole... Your late game is not good if your whole early game is, like, four levels down. You know? Because that just sets you way too far behind. There's no way you can defend when you're that far behind. His blue is up again, which I will take. <sighs> I see the path before me. Our red is up as well. I'm waiting on my alt. Once my alt comes up, I can kill him again. Until then, we just let him think he can do damage to me. He's using all of his mana trying to poke me, but I have I have early game runic shield. Like there's no there's no kill potential there. My alt is up, which means he better be backing. Okay, he is. And I clear this wave. And then I TP away. I get my Toxic Blade and then we fight. And I will also grab a Curse Stonk, because that stops the need for any more anti-heal. Obviously I'm going to go Pestilence as well, but other than that I'll have 115% or 65% whenever I don't have my, uh, my Curse Stonk up, but we're good, man. You're in a good, good spot. I'll take Tower here. I 
And then I will go do Bull Demon. If he pushes up a little too far, if I see him over here, he dies. Okay, he's not he's not doing it. I'm just gonna go do Bull Demon. Alright. And actually, if he pushes wave, I could still kill him because my ult gives me so much healing, he has no anti heal. Use everything I have, and he just should die. There we go. Got Bull Demon, got the kill, actually healed quite a bit while getting the kill because he has no anti heal or power or defense. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.